Hello there and happy Mother's Day. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Whether or not you celebrate Mother's Day or not may depend on if you have a good relationship with your mom. Or maybe your family just doesn't celebrate holidays like that. But just like Valentine's Day, this is another one of those times of the year where they have the stupidest gifts that they're trying to give us on the internet. And as we saw in my Valentine's Day gift video, there's a lot of dumb things out there. And something that I have found very interesting is that a lot of these gifts that you can give people on Valentine's Day, they are advertising the exact same gifts, except this time for Mother's Day. Remember these guys? from the Valentine's Day video? Happy Mother's Day! Yeah, I know it. Not only can you get those guys to shake it for your girlfriend or wife on Valentine's Day, but you can also get them to shake it for your mom on Mother's Day. That one might get a little awkward on Father's Day. Oh my gosh! Oh no! Oh my gosh! No! Are... No, you got me messed up! <laughs> you got me messed up! You got me messed up! They're wearing yellow pants! These are the mango poppies, just so you guys know, so they wear mango colored pants. I'm dead right now. Yeah, so you can get those guys to dance for your mom, dance for your dad, dance for your significant other on any holiday it seems like, and I'm fairly certain that they are consenting adults with an actual real job in Africa. Let's at least hope so! But there are a lot of other gifts that are incredibly similar to the gifts that I showed you in the Valentine's Day video like these. Remember those flowers in a box with random pictures? Well, this time they're back, and it just says mom with your kids' names on it. How exciting. I also saw these weird pop-up cards again for Mother's Day. This is gonna take at least 10 minutes to clean up. You know what? Actually, this seems like a really cool prank. Happy Valentine's Day, Mom. Here's 10 minutes of cleanup. And there's something about these holidays that always brings out the moon in people. Why do we have to see the moon on everything we buy on these things? Like, no one gives a crap about the moon. I get that this can be kind of a good thing for Mother's Day because it gives you a way to kind of remember all of your children, and it kind of is a fun way to know that they're thinking about you too. But I'm not 100% sure why the normal average mom would give a crap what the moon looked like when any of her children were born. And all these ads just kind of seem like kind of a cheap way to buy a gift for your mom on Mother's Day. You see the ad, you click the ad, you buy the ad, and then congratulations, you're done with your gift getting for the entire year, and it only took you like five minutes. I care so much about you, mom, I put five minutes into buying your gift. But because I've already ranted about the moon in my previous video, let me just have previous rant come in for the Valentine's Day video and tell you how annoyed I am that the moon's on there instead of, let's say, I don't know, the kid's faces. So if you haven't seen that video, here's what happened. Raise your hand if you want to know what the phase of the moon was when you got married. I know for a fact that every once in a while, I'll get a quick glance at the moon and be like, oh yeah, yep, the moon's still there. Doing your job. Good job, moon. But I don't regularly look at the moon. I just assume it's doing its job and then I live my life. The moon was just kind of hilarious to me because I know for a fact that like 99.9% .9 of people do not give a crap about what the moon looks like on any given day. And honestly, the only thing that I think's really gotten anyone more interested in the moon is a solar eclipse that happens every once in a while, but then after that we go back to not caring. I think that pretty much sums up how I feel about the moon thing and why I feel like it's a little bit ridiculous to put the phases of the moon on there, and I'm pretty sure your mom doesn't care either, so maybe steer clear of this gift. But on top of all those copycat gifts, I found some pretty crazy gifts on Amazon that I probably wouldn't buy for my mom, because for me they're just a little too cringy. Of all the vaginas in the world, I'm so glad I tumbled out of yours. This is one that really tests the foundation of how close are you actually with your mom, because if the wrong mom got this present, Mother's Day's probably over at that point. But if your mom has a sense of humor, maybe this one would go in the very back of the mug cabinet. Mom, thanks for being my mom. If I had a different mom, I would punch her in the face and go find you. Love you forever. Well, that's straight to the point and a funny way to say that you love your mom. I actually kind of like that mug. So honestly, even though a lot of the gifts on this video today are really dumb, that's one that I'd probably buy because it's actually pretty funny. There's also the world's okayest mom shirt for the okayest mom out there. It's okay if you're an okayest mom. You don't have to be the best mom ever because not everyone's the best mom ever. But there's one gift that I think that everyone should have bought for their mothers this Mother's Day And if you didn't, how dare you? It's the best Mother's Day gift ever This fake belly, otherwise known as Mother's Day gifts, funny gifts, white elephant gifts, wisdom gag gifts, dad bag, fanny pack, and 3D beer belly waist pack Waterproof for men, men's Christmas stocking stuffers for men Here's a family at Christmas trying on this fanny pack And here's a man showing off the fanny pack with his big muscles Candace said, great gag gift that is used and so funny to see that Kari said the color is a little off, but it's obviously a white guy's belly that they took a picture of so you can't just duplicate the color of everyone's skin. Come on. There's nothing more that your mom wants on Mother's Day than to feel really fat and gross because she's wearing that belly on her. And it's really just a beautiful and fantastic way to show her that you care on Mother's Day. But if none of those other gifts are doing it for you and you're just wanting to be kind of basic and just get the most simple thing you possibly can, you can buy yourself a preserved rose with a necklace that has a custom message on it for $38. I wonder how nice that necklace is if the rose and the necklace and the box are only 
$38. Whether your mom's crazy or not, goofy or not, wild or not, it's Mother's Day, so be sure to tell your mom that you love her, and please try to pick a gift that tries a little harder than all the gifts I showed you in this video. Thank you for hopping into today's short Mother's Day video. I hope you have a fantastic day with your moms, and I do care that you clicked on this video and decided to watch. So for that, you are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, maybe check out the video that's on your screen right now, because the algorithm thinks that you would like it. Isn't that crazy how the algorithm works? It thinks that it knows what you like. Maybe you picked the right choice. I don't know. Click on this video and see if you like it. But either way, I appreciate you hopping in, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.